I will give you a mini lecture. Here are also three parts. First part, some basic information on Chinese calligraphy, like the tools later you are going to use. And the second part, your time to practice. The third part, I want to show you how to appreciate traditional Chinese watercolor paintings. That's the highest art for Chinese scholars. So now let's, let's introduce the materials first. In China, we have four essential tools. Whenever a Chinese scholar doing painting or calligraphy, he has to use it. We call them Wen Fang Si Bao, the four treasures in artist's studio. They are displayed on the table. Could you guess what the four tools are? Very good. Very brush. Yes, ink. 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 Yes, paper. Ink. What do you see? Are you an artist? Who's a professional? <laughs> okay, let me show you the last one. That is ink stone. It's for branding ink. Okay, more details. Like a brush made of animal's hair. Like the hairs of rabbits, goats, horses, pigs, lizards, many. We do use some special ones. Like newborn babies, can hair, and even mouse whiskers. Oh. That's the most special one. About 20 mice whiskers make one brush. Good and very expensive. So, if you are lucky, meet mice no whiskers here. Don't be so surprised. <laughs> then, that's a famous Chinese rice paper. They call it rice paper in English, but a conventional rice. That's a trick name. The material is the elm tree bark and the bamboo fiber. So, whenever you are hungry, don't try it. Not so delicious, okay? <laughs> in China, we call it Xuan paper because it was the first produced around Xuan County over 1,000 years ago. Then, the ink. Do you know what's this? Ink stick. Good. That's a solid ink, ink stick. Traditionally, they use this one. It's made from the oil of the town trees or the burnt pine wood soot mixed with some special glue. That's why when you use it, you need an ink stone. You drop some clear water in the ink stone. And blend it slowly on the ink stone like this. The longer the time, the darker the ink. It's time consuming job. So nowadays, people are busy. They use a prepared one in a bottle to save some time. <laughs> ink stone here is a very special stone found from the deep bottom of mountain stream. A good one is glossy. The ink prepared on it won't dry quickly. That's a very brief introduction for the four tryers. Now let's play a game. I'll use these four tools to paint some earliest Chinese characters. Everyone try to guess the names.
time? No. Burial mound? No. <laughs> it's a woman. That is a woman. It's a, uh, that is a very elegant poster for women in ancient China, actually. She is kneeling down, arm crossed in front of the body. See, she's doing like this, ready to serve her husband. <laughs> No wonder we didn't recognize it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, last one here. House? That house. They are a pyre. Window? They are a pyre. Woman and a man. Men. The upper part is a piece of rice field. This is an ancient tool, a sickle, or a plow. The man is walking the field. That's a typical role for ancient women and men. Men look outside, that's why women serve at home. But nowadays the things change. <laughs> and we also have the modern explanation for men. Everyone, don't you think our one here looks like a child of men? The men always <laughs> 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 That's today's men. <laughs> <laughs> Not to touch the 